Un. Sister's got a question for us. What? Did you know why Father knows so much about holiness? Why? <laughs> Ask him. I don't know. You gotta say it so the microphone it's can like hear a you. Script. Okay. Just in one, two, three. So what's your question, Peter? Hello, Phoenix. How are you doing? Good. So good to see you. Did you have a good morning? Mm -hmm. What did you like about the morning? That you gonna eat breakfast. <laughs> Great. We all need and want to have breakfast. So yeah, that's okay. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. What's your name? Uh, Cadman. Cadman. How's it going, Cadman? Good. Oh, this is a small chair. <laughs> Cadman. Who is there? Saint Cadman? Uh, yes, there is. Is he from England? Martyr. Uh, not sure. Okay, cool. All right, Kevin. Well, how old are you? Uh, ten. He's ten years old. Well, Peter, you were asking about how it is that I know about holiness, right? So I mentioned that our community's name is Pro Ecclesia Sancta for the Holy Church. So we are very much uh, in love with the fact that God calls all of us to be holy, like He is holy. So we see it as our mission to remind everyone, every man, woman, and child, whether they're Catholic or not, whether they are Christian or not yet, that they're all called to be holy. That they're all called to know and love God through Jesus Christ and His Holy Church. So that's our mission. We have to know about it if we're going to be able to tell people about it, right? So our whole life we're in secret disguises on a special mission for God? You could say that. And then only in heaven will our true identity be revealed and all the beauty of our soul that's been enriched by His grace. But here we're kind of disguised in our mortal lives. And what is Proclesia Sancta? Proclesia Sancta. Do you know what language is that written in? No. No? So it's Latin. You know any Latin? No. But I hear it at Mass. Yeah, you hear it at Mass sometimes, right? Um, so it means Proclesia Sancta is the name of our a religious community and it means for the Holy Church um, in, and we also have like sisters but also brothers and priests and our mission is to remind everybody that they're called to go to heaven. When you think of Christ's love, if you could think of one image, what image would that be? Uh, either the Sacred Heart of Jesus or the, right? Yeah. So the Sacred Heart one, right? For example. Yeah. Yeah. So you see that Sacred Heart, and you just think of love, right? Because mm -hmm. you see the flames yeah. that are on fire. You see that there's like a little wound there. Do you know why that wound is there? Because he was stabbed. Right? Because he was stabbed, right? But also because, like, even though Christ loves everybody, there's so many people that still don't love Him back, yeah. right? And so, like, we as priests and religious, especially if Pro Ecclesia Sancta, we strive to give those to as many people as possible. That's yours to keep. Because what we want to do is we want to help people realize, hey, Jesus loves you, right? Yeah. How can we become a saint? How can you become a saint? That's a great question by first talking to Jesus every day and just doing whatever you do in the day uh, out for love for him. So what do you do during the day? Uh, Let's say, what are you going to do tomorrow that is? Monday. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to school. Okay, and so when you go to school, what do you do at school? Uh, in the morning we normally like pray and make mm -hmm. announcements. Yes. And then we start our day, like, mm -hmm. our activities. So are you gonna have maybe, ma you're gonna learn math or yeah. reading and stuff like that. So whenever you are studying at a school or learning something new, you can just do a little prayer in your heart that says, Jesus, today I want to learn all this new stuff just because I love you. That's how you become a saint. That's what the saints did. Just do everything out of love for God.